Hi guys, welcome to the Getting Started with Hadoop 2.x. I am Ikim Zaidu Zaban and I am a software engineer who loves to solve problems and I've never considered language to the first level of the solution provider for any kind of problem. For the last 10 years, I have been working extensively with Node, Angular, Ruby on Rails, Spring Framework in Java, and Hadoop along with PySpark. My passion, along with coding, has been always playing guitar and taking beautiful photos of my wife and daughter. So our course in a brief, we're going to talk about and learn about Hadoop framework and how the map reduce jobs in the Hadoop framework work, along with the file system that is provided by Hadoop, the HDFS, how you can manipulate data and files inside those file system and copy between them and of course understanding the parallelization and parallel thinking for solving problems the Hadoop and MapReduce way. So we will go forward just like this. In the beginning we'll start the introduction with the Hadoop world. We're going to learn about what are the different nomenclatures that we use in Hadoop world mean. We also need to think about how we can think parallelly to solve a particular problem. On to the next section in the section two, we're gonna overdrive with the file system HDFS. We're going to copy data from our local, send it to HDFS and back and forth. And then of course, run some basic commands there and see what is the difference between the bash terminal and the HDFS commands. Then in the following section, we're gonna run the Hadoop jobs that is provided into the binary that we are going to download in our installation. In that particular downloaded binary folder, we have a lot of examples. We're going to show some of them deep dive into the particular code that has been written there and understand how the entire MapReduce works and what the community offers as a standard. Then in the last section, we're going to devise a recommendation algorithm for movies through categories and we're going to see how we can transform data to achieve that particular algorithm and literally recommend someone by inferring from a data source. So to achieve all those good things, we need to make sure that we're ready with some of the stuff that is not covered in this particular course. The first thing is you do need to know Java. The Hadoop framework entirely is built on Java. So all the syntaxes and commands that I'm going to write are of Java. And of course, have some basic knowledge of OOP. I'm not going to go deep into different design patterns on everything. Some basic ideas of polymorphism inheritance would actually help understanding the code that I'm going to write for the entire sections. We probably want to be comfortable with bash as well, because we're going to be typing a lot of terminal commands to work with the file system. And of course, we need to make sure that we have a proper Hadoop installation made in our local. local. All right, let's get rocking and get started with Hadoop 2.x.